forecast is significant in that the Sierra snowpack, as you all know, is considered the state's largest reservoir. It holds water on the mountain forest, but with rain at the highest elevations, that means that rain is going to be coming down the mountain and not being stored on the mountain as snow. And that means a lot of inflow into area lakes and reservoirs. We need it. And that also means they're going to have to let some of it go. You can see out here behind me at Nibis Dam water released this morning at about 2,000 cubic feet per second. Uh, they've also had it up to 3,000 over the last week or so. But by tomorrow, they're going to bump releases up to more than 4,500 cubic feet per second as they prepare for the inflows. They're going to expect it to come from these recent storms, these parade of storms that are expected to come into the area. Right now, Folsom Lake is pretty much at its capacity for this time of year at about 62%, which is where they keep it to maintain a certain amount of area for flood control. That last 40% designed to buffer against major storms that could potentially flood the area. So that is why they maintain that and that is why they need to continue releasing water from the lake, especially when you consider we're likely to see some major inflows coming into Folsom Lake over the next week, if not longer. During the last major storm event, we saw outflows, or excuse me, inflows coming into Folsom Lake well over 10,000 cubic feet per second. So we'll have to see what the inflows look like from this latest storm and how they'll respond to it here at Nimbus Dam.